My presentation is on the degradation and objectification of women in hip-hop music. Women in hip-hop. My hypothesis that women are portrayed in the hip-hop industry as objects such that they are belittled and degraded in lyrics and by the image that they represent in music videos. All of these are the result of the dominance of men in the hip-hop industry and the role of the hegemonic masculinity through power and ideology. Appropriate inspirational, motivational lyrics and portrayal of women in the music industry would allow women to have confidence, self-worth, and empowerment. The hip-hop industry is patriarchal. This means that men hold power and predominant roles in its social system. Less than 12% of charted rappers are women. Fisk stated that pop culture is the culture of the subordinated and disempowered, which leads to the domination and subordination roles. And with that, women are used as objects in hip-hop videos. Now we will look at the portrayal of women in music videos. This is a screenshot of the music video by Nelly called Tip Joe. During the music video, he is surrounded by women in little or no clothes, dancing provocatively. A tip Joe refers to a woman that has a nice body, but what society considers an ugly face. In the video, he objectifies women by throwing money at them, referring to them as only liking them for their body and implying that he will only be using them for sex. In this music video called Whisper by the Ying Yang Twins, dominance is shown over women. In the video, women are portrayed as submissive and under the dominant control of men because they need to follow what he is whispering in their ear. This music video is by 2 Chains called Birthday Song. Not only does it degrade women by sexually objectifying them as a big booty birthday gift, but they joke about their significant others getting them a big booty hoe for their birthday, implying that they've been together for so long that they deserve it as a birthday gift. Along with the music videos, the lyrics of the songs play a role in how women are viewed. This song by Kanye West, Gold Digger, women are seen as only interested in a relationship for the material benefits. This shows women as superficial and weak since they can't make their own money. This song by Eminem shows the power and dominance men have over women, that even if women try to stand up for themselves, they are too weak too. This song by Rocco displays pure dominance over women. Even though women are typically seen as weak, this song depicts making a woman completely powerless and taking advantage of her. It completely degrades her as a human by taking away any respect for her or her body. This leads into how and why males are dominant.
ideology is a system of interdependent ideas that explain and justify particular political, economic, moral, and social conditions and interests, making them right and natural. Power is the ability to get what one wants either by having one's interests prevail in conflict with others or preventing others from raising their demands. Power and ideology are two concepts that lead to hegemonic masculinity. Hegemony is the rule of one class over another that does not depend on economic or physical power alone, but rather on persuading the rule to accept the system of beliefs. Hegemonic masculinity is the masculinity that dominates over women or other men. And in this case, in hip-hop videos, women are dominated over by men by the way that they objectify and degrade them in their music video and lyrics. Encoding and decoding the meaning of women in hip-hop music videos and lyrics. The encoded meaning. Women are subordinates in a male-dominated society. Women are objectified by being displayed as sex objects, gold diggers, and submissives. Success and power will give the encoder, which are men, what they deserve. The decoded meaning. The preferred meaning, sex sells, and women make money participating in the music videos. Music is a form of expression and is protected under the First Amendment rights. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never harm me. Music is just words, and it's not actually physically harming anybody. The oppositional meaning, my position. The display of women as sexual objects in music videos alters the perception of how women should be looked at and treated by men. Degrading women in music lyrics reduces their confidence, self-worth, and empowerment. There are consequences to the way men dominate and portray women in their music. A study done by Brett Howard, Zimmerman, and Banning revealed the major themes when it comes to women in the music industry. First, that men have more power and will continue to have more power over women. That sex is a priority. That women are objectified constantly that sexual violence is a major issue, and that women define themselves by the way that men want them to look and be portrayed, which leads to them having no value or self-worth. This is detrimental to society because adolescents are the main listeners to this type of music and are easily influenced. Therefore, the degradation and objectification due to hegemonic masculinity through power and control will continue to be a cultural norm for generations to come. So, in order to break this cycle, women need to be portrayed in roles other than sex objects. Inspirational and motivational lyrics need to dominate the media in order to influence young generations to break the cycle. Also, gender equality in, mu in the music industry needs to be established to give women value, respect, and empowerment. In summary, 
In a male-dominated industry, it is hard for women to have a voice. The cultural normacy of hegemonic masculinity has led to women being objectified and degraded in the music industry and stuck in a subordinate role. However, there needs to be a large shift in the lyrics and image that represent women to give women the self-worth, empowerment, and dignity that every human deserves.